My name's Mel and I've just won £50,000 in the Vection 50. I love the videos, I love the people that you've got on it, I love their stories, um, they're very real, very raw. I think that makes a massive difference. I just have, you know, quite a, a strong feeling anyway for those that have come back from military service and the kind of negative impacts that have happened to them. Um, and the fact that the charity helped not just them, but their family members as well. And being a family member myself of, uh, you know, an ex sort of military serviceman that, yeah, I just thought, well, £10 a month wasn't going to be missed and it went to something, you know, worthwhile. I don't think people realise what they see and face when they go out into combat. What they do see can affect them, you know, massively. And I've seen, obviously, with Darren, I knew he was going to find it tough coming out of, of the military. Finding his feet and finding new friends, I think, is, you know, was going to be quite hard. And because of injuries as well, it stopped him playing sport, which was a massive, and still is a massive love. Not being able to move and to be able to have that energy, to be able to, you know, do the things that he loved really kind of, you know, brought him down. Didn't really want to go out, didn't want to do anything. It was tough because I didn't, I didn't understand what was going on. I didn't really get it. And it was hard for my friends to understand what I was going through. And I'm getting all emotional. <laughs> um, sorry. <laughs> with kind of my husband's service and him being medically discharged as well. He was able to go to the Invictus Games, a massive turning point, you know, for him and for us as a family as well, which allowed me personally to meet other ex-military, but also their family members. And, and it gave me an opportunity to really connect with other wives and girlfriends or husbands and, you know, boyfriends about what they'd faced and gone through living with someone that had been medically discharged. And it helped me appreciate and understand kind of what was going on in other people's lives and actually we weren't alone as well which is a big thing for us. I'm a strength and conditioning coach, um, I'm also you know, a fitness trainer and it just so happened that for the particular Invictus Games we were going on, uh, one of the coaches that had obviously been working within that environment couldn't make it, couldn't go over to Australia. Now I was going over there as part of the friends and family team anyway just as a support but I did actually get a phone call and asked would I help over there if I was needed in that kind of support capacity of uh, a coaching role. I said, yes, of course. Uh, and what happened was part of the job I did was as the seated kind of throwers within the athletic field needed to be kind of tied to their, their bench and supported for when they did their discus or shot put throwing. So I was the person that tied them down basically, which sounds, Sounds quite ominous, but um, it was a great privilege and it was lovely to, to be with them all. Where were you when you got the call and what were your, was your first reaction? <laughs> um, I was at work, uh, there was no one else there. I was in the office um, on the computer checking my emails because I hadn't checked them for quite a while. I had this email from the Veterans Foundation saying, can you please call this number? It sounds awful now, but I looked at it and I thought, oh, Another scam, whatever. But something inside of me, I don't know what, thought, well, I'll give the number a ring and just see what they say. So this lovely lady answered the phone. And yeah, and then she just said, congratulations, you've you've won the jackpot. And she said, well, it's £7,000. I was like, oh, OK, that that's great. And then she went, no, she goes, it's, it's even better, it's a rollover. So it's actually another £43,000. You've won £50,000. I said, are you sure? She said, honestly, she said, you buy a computer. And I said, yeah, she said, right, go on the website. So go to lottery, now go to lottery results, click on the 30th of September, and I clicked on it, and I saw all these names, and I went, right, she went, no, look at the top. And then I saw my name in big writing, so I just went <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what, it's peace of mind, that's what it's bought. Um, it's bought lighter shoulders, a few less worries. I feel quite grateful actually. I've given such a small thing away, but to have that given to me is, yeah, I'm very grateful. Yeah. If you'd like to help British veterans and stand the chance of winning £50,000, please play the Veterans Lottery.